Yeah. But I figured I'd get... We're doing open mode for multi-world as well, so I figured this would be good. And I'll probably do an op open mode, and then I'll probably do a mystery seed just for fun, because I don't want to do nothing but turning practice, because you can only turn practice for so long before it's like, yeah, we get it. It's the same thing. But anyway. I'm going to get started before I start thinking about Halo Reach too much get the sudden urge to go buy it and play it. I mean, it's only $10. It's a pretty good deal. Alright, I... I don't like the Uncle Play. I've been doing it a lot lately, and I don't like it. I don't like this play either, though, but... Okay, Crystal at... Pyramid Fairy Crystal at Eastern. Hopefully I get the double bombs over here. Yo, nice, we got the double bombs. There's the kill, so I can tr pull a tree in Lost Woods. Perfect. Yeah, I'm thinking, because I, you know, I, I like collecting stuff, so, you know, instantly I'm like, just get the whole collection. But, you know, then you look at the bank account, and you're like, eh, $40. I mean, I know I'll spend that on groceries. Easily. But, you know, play Halo... Don't starve to death. It's a bit of a toss-up, I know. And I mean, all things considered, I'd probably only end up really playing Halo Reach, Halo 3, and maybe ODST. So, you know, I'm probably not going to play 4 again, because I didn't really care for 4. 4 was just okay. What are the odds that there are zero bombs in chests throughout all of Kakariko? That's the real question. Should probably stop trying to go for chest turns, because I just look like an idiot when I mess it up. Ah. Should change this song to... Animal Village. Alright, hopefully I find bombs, otherwise I'm hecked. Okay, well, there's bomb money if I need, if I want to go buy bombs, so that's good. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Whew. You just never know. It's annoying, though. I mean, you're not in Kakarika for too long. It'd be great if there was a way you could set it up so that every time you play the seed, it would randomly shuffle the music around. So, like, you'll randomize which dungeons, which dungeon themes are gonna play, or, you know, stuff like that. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. Maybe. It's what, six heart pieces so far in Kakariko and South of Kak? Wow, that's a lot. Alright, let's hit up my boy Bottle Vendor. Go from there. Worth it. Imagine if I had spent money on bombs instead! Hammer, hook shot. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I I... No, I have to get. That's that's still tier one, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hello. Okay, money not a concern for now. I should. I could still go do Hulahan just to be double sure. There's a good chance I'll find the money that I need. I go South Shore, but I also 
don't really want to chant, take a chance of skipping out on something important in, in Sank, so I'll do that into Hulahan, even though <clears throat> it's probably not necessary. I could have missed this five dollars! Wow! I gotta say, this tournament's been pretty crazy already. There's been some crazy... I wouldn't say crazy upsets. Honestly, for the most part, I feel like... <clears throat> a lot of the, the matchups can go either way. Like, you know... I think there was like 300 total people, give or take, that joined the qualifiers, and you know, with only 128 making it through. I think it'd be easy to argue, you know, that the uh, that top 128 will go either way. Now, and especially because, like, there are some people that are in, like, the fourth quartile that are definitely a lot better than the score that they got, so... Like, my boy Solsky's down there, and I know he's good at this video game. What's up, Silvani? Okay, I don't really like this play unless I get bailed out by, like, Moon Pearl and Mini Mulder and Cave or something. I could always fake Clip for Dora if I really want to, but... It's a long walk for just one check. I feel like I should have taken my hammer and gone to escape. Ow. That's my stun prize. Hearts, stars, horseshoes. How are you so good at dodging <laughs> all of my attacks? Unbelievable. Okay. You're gonna just immediately make my Hulahan play obsolete, just like that? Nope, not necessarily. 14 rupees short. So far, nothing down here. It's an interesting set of items. We'll go Ice Rock Cave, and then I might... <clears throat> I might just go up to Hobo, and then go to Escape? I don't know. I mean, it's not like Zora's in Logic or anything. I might just save and quit out of Ice Rock Cave unless it bails me out with Moon Pearl or, you know, boots, glove. $50. Yeah. There's no point. Let's go do escape. And that's why I don't like doing South Shore without one of those. Something that allows me to water walk. Alright, what do you got for me, baby? Give me some bombs! Okay, well, if I had done Uncle Route first, I would have had bombs. And then I would have just gone north route. I guess that would have made very little difference. And just like that, my cool hand was worthless. Oh well. We're not even 10 minutes in, so it's fine. Oops. My menu has gotten so horrible. I don't know why. Maybe it's the D-pad. It's not me, it's the game. Clearly. I 
I don't like this song. I would switch out this song. I mean, it's a fitting song. I just don't like it that much. Let's switch it to the castle theme where you get the golden leaves in Link's Awakening. Because that one was pretty spooky. Alright, what the hell are we looking for? Probably, uh, probably flute. That'd be my guess. And then something's gonna be something stupid, maybe vanilla or French vanilla moon pearl up in Hera. Jeez. This ain't working out too well at all. Well, I mean, if this isn't... Okay, well, we know that this is logically locked by the small key, which is either glove or fire rod lamp locked. So this is a sequence break. Stupid one, but still a sequence break. That's a stupid item. I don't want to go back to Sick Kid just to turn in a bottle. Ugh. Fine. It's even a gold bee, thus making my hula hand play even worse. Okay, so let's think about this. Let's say that Sahas Rala's hut has the lamp. And the lamp leads to the small key in the dark cross, which leads to the back of escape. Small key and dark cross opens up this B. This is a really dumb play. I don't agree with this. You, my boy. No. No. I don't know why the bee likes to go for the weather vane. Alright, this isn't it. This is a really awful waste of time. Give me flute. Oh, yikes. All right, well, this is either Agna or Eastern Sahasrala. <sighs> Not a very fun start to a seed, I'm gonna say that. <clears throat> God damn it. This is a bomb seed. Not to say that the seed is the bomb. I hate the hookshot, man, sometimes. If you try and use it as a weapon or a stun thing, missing enemies with it just feels so slow. Yeah, I don't really want to talk to you. Show me a lamp or glove. Okay. What are you doing, game? What is this? God damn it. Oh, that's awful. I hate it. even know what to make of this. So we can either go... Uh, I feel like I need to just go ahead and go into Eastern. Because it's either we run off and do a fetch quest, or... We just need to find the glove, yeah. So either glove is going to be in East, in Desert, it's going to be in here, or it's going to be on Sick Kid. Or not Sick Kid, um, Mushroom, so... This is fine. This will be a forced double dip. Well, not forced. This will just be a double dip. And if I find the glove in the first chest, I'll just bail. Bum, 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 bum. Glove? Of all the things to find in Sahasrala's hut, <laughs> book and book and mushroom is kind of awful. <sighs> all 
Alright, put glove, like, in desert, but put flute in here, too. Though I'd be mad if I found flute now, just because I already went and checked the bottle. I'd rather wait until I actually had Dark World access before I headed back to go activate flute, just so my route back to Kakariko isn't such a huge waste of time. Did you not? Alright, we got one item. Second item. Pop up, 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 up. This is not going very well. Well, moment of truth. See if this is the, a good item or not. Glove! Uh, okay. I guess an interesting route one could have done in this seed would have been... Go to Uncle first. Get the bombs. And then go straight to Eastern. Could have gotten that check out of the way, or just went to Saas all of a sudden bailed. Which is looking like the right play, unless this ends up being something, and that'll give us information. But it's probably gonna be the compass. But, alright. Well, this makes my decision a lot easier. Man. Bit of a rough start. So, Arma, and the worst thing is dipping into Eastern, finding nothing, and then there's still being an item on Armos. Yo, what's up, Aaron? Thanks for the good luck, man. <clears throat> I'm also mad because now would be a good time to go do all the water walk stuff. Because who knows, this could all be just one big rush to find the flippers. Just to get something from Waterfall that I could sequence break. working from home. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, well. Last location, desert. Or Agonis Cave. So Glove's gonna probably be over there, unless it's a... Yeah, unless it's something stupid like flippers to go do Zora stuff, or flute to get something up on Death Mountain, but regardless, progression is gonna be over here, because... <laughs> Ain't gonna be anywhere else, because we ain't got anything else to do. The sword's nice. I probably could have put it off. In case I wanted to do, like, fake powder or something. Alright, let's see what's on the ledge. That's kind of what I'm going for at this point. I mean, we only have potentially three checks left that we can do over here. Alright. There it is. That's what I figured. So yeah, this seed would have been huge if you'd done Saasrala first. Because then I, if, if I had done Saasrala first, I would have gotten Book. I 100% would have gone damn west to desert. See if it's boots locked. We can't beat it. I guess I'll go check this over here. I mean, who knows? We could just find a fire source in here and then just beat landmolds while we're over here. We have the hammer. We just need to find a fire source. Honestly, I think it'd be faster than Death War. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, it is boots locked, so we will need boots this seed. <clears throat> Alright, 
we'll go grab Glove, and I guess we'll wrap up with, uh, Trip in Agonist Cave, I guess. Just to clear everything. And then from there, I guess I'll just go... Pipe Cave. Go west to Digging Game, save and quit, and then go the other route. Or, I could be a big, stupid memer. Feel like I'm super behind at this point, because my opponent got routed like a gamer. And just go straight up Death Mountain at this point. See what's up there. That'd be a pretty dumb play. Which is why I'm gonna go do it. I shouldn't. Nah, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do Hype Cave to Ding Game, save and quit, then I'll go do Back of Escape, then I'll go up to Death Mountain. I'm gonna do this first. <laughs> I could never make up my mind. I mean, the only risk is... going up to Hera without a fire source and needing a fire source to beat it, because then I will have basically put myself in a situation where I'm double dipping all the Light World dungeons, which would be pretty bad. Okay. Just don't give me map and small key, please. Damn it. Good. Okay. Blue boomerang. Great. Yo, what's up, Kern? Kern, I saw you had a very close race, man. It's okay, Kermit's gonna dunk on me and then I'll meet you in the tiebreaker. No. No, 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 no. Not yet. It was fun? That's good. Pendant pot, of course. Pendant ice, of course. Green pendant mire. Naturally, and a five is at swap. So now, because Eastern only has one item left, and Pendant Pod, I'm like, never gonna want to go over there. Okay. <laughs> I like my Death Mountain sequence break that I'm gonna do. Never mind, now it's in logic. <laughs> uh, well, I am very glad that I, uh, did Hype Cave first. Boy, that would have been foolish had I not done that. Alright, with Swamp and Eastern as my Pyramid Fairy, I am just Flippers, Mirror, and Bow away from that. I feel like I need to stop giving Pyramid Fairy so much value, because I feel like it doesn't... For the amount of times I've checked Pyramid Fairy, I feel like it has such a low chance of actually giving me something useful. It tends to just give me junk. Bombs, rupees. There was that one seed I did the other... I think before break where I got a hook shot out of there. But even then... I, I sometimes just make decisions purely based on Pyramid Fairy. And that's not smart, because it's rarely something useful. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and do Thief Sound then. I was gonna go up to Death Mountain, but now I got a better idea. Time? What the hell? What? Super fast. Does this seem like I'm going really fast? Or am I just crazy? Because it seemed like I was going fast. I 
It's something to do with picking up an item and then jumping off a ledge. Because I noticed that when you go to Catfish, too. He grabbed, like, the bush before he jumped down. And then, like, I do that in NMG as well. Maybe it... Hmm. It's an interesting randomizer bug. Oh, it is one. Alright. Well, that's good. That pendant pod, man. It's looking like something. Yo, what's up, Lin Lin? Nice emote. Bum, ba -bum. So I think I'm gonna do Village of Outcast. Grab the frog. Cause I wanna go back, activate blue, turn in frog. And then I can uh Yeah, I can either go up to Death Mountain or I can just where am I going? Go back to Eastern maybe. So we need both rods, we need some Maria. Might need a medallion. Flippers, mirror. Boots, sword. Well, uh, we need some stuff, I'd say. That's good. Hmm. The scary thing right now is I might have access to Meyer now. Go in there looking for a fire source. <laughs> figured it out. Let's hear it. Because I feel like I remember doing it in NMG runs, and people would tell me it's slower than just picking up the rock right next to him. I was like, but you move faster when you walk up, when you jump off edges. the next big thing I'm gonna find. What's the next crystal dungeon I can go to? I'm gonna go finish Eastern. Like, I'm tempted to hold off on going up to Death Mountain just to see if I can find a fire source first. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to learn bootsless parapot setup on the spot. Really no point in me checking the map. Even if Blind was gonna give me a map, I still have to kill Blind. That's his time loss for no reason. Welcome back. 
The interesting thing is, if you didn't turn in the mushroom, you would either had to have done hammer blind. I guess you also have Burna and Samari was in here as well, so a lot of options. Okay, so I am gonna put off Skull Woods for now. Actually, no, I, don't, I think. I think what I'll do is I'll grab the frog, because I want to check hammer bags too. Pick up the object while taking the old man somewhere. Your animation will appear faster. Hmm. Interesting. You want some mic? This is music from Link's Awakening and the Oracle games, yeah. What's up, Sid? I don't really need this, but I'll grab it anyway. Alright, we're gonna grab the frog, and then we're gonna actually go into Skull Woods, but we're just gonna drop down into one of the holes. Let's see what I can find in there. Then we're gonna save and quit. We're gonna go back to Cact to activate Flute, turn in Frog, and then... Then I think that's when I'll probably head up to Death Mountain. Potatoing? What does that mean? Uh. I'm gonna hold off on shovel until I find the mirror. But well, hopefully mirror's not there. Hopefully we find a small key over here as well. Yeah, I'm okay with this play. Because you never know, we could just find both items and be done in here. Okay. That's good. We can get out of here. <laughs> Alright. Still one more key at large. We got one item left behind here in Skullwoods, so that's fine. Mmm, you know... Well, I guess I could have gone south route if I wanted to include that shovel check. But no, I think I'll save that for K45, so hopefully the mirror isn't at shovel. Yeah, I think Death Mountain's a good play now, now that it is in logic. We could go check Meyer's Shed real quick, but I'm gonna feel obligated to go into Meyer. Which I don't know if I want to do, Dave. So we are going to put off Purple Chest as well. Play this, it gives me something. I'll take even a sword. Another 50. Alright. So we have a million things we can check up on Death Mountain. So 
so this is fine. Wish I had the boots so I could do it faster. Hopefully I find a fire source or don't need a fire source for Hera. One of those two. Should load up to the visual guide that I have for... Bootsless. Hera pot. Yo, what's up, eggs? I was watching some people race yesterday, and some people have some really weird setups. I think I'm getting the first part set up correctly. I'm just always messing up the second part. I already said good morning, but good morning. Morning, son. If I wasn't doing this right now, my options would either be hot eastern, out of logic, because no fire source. Um, I guess I could be doing all the Zora checks too right now if I really wanted to. Out of logic, except for Zora. There's still the pyramid that's at large as well. I did pick up the shovel. I could go to Meyer's shed. I could potentially do Meyer, maybe find the boots in there. Let's just stick to these high density checks. There's a Master Sword. That's good. Now I can get Ether Tablet. not in GT? Actually surprised. Mm, that did seem a little odd. Uh, I'd much rather just do Dark Death Mountain stuff than go all the way over to Eastern. I mean, the only downside is... Or all the way to Hera. Okay. Yeah! I, I'm not... I'm, I'm still on the fence about them. Like, weren't they added just to kind of, quote-unquote, fix the whole constant go-mode bow situation? But now, for the most part, I feel like bow is, like, s significantly early. I think progressive bow would be good for, like, swordless, where you absolutely need silvers. And the whole thing with, I don't know if Ganon's still broken, too, where he doesn't really give you the good info, or give you the correct info about... Alright, we'll go for it anyway. So that's good, I can avoid, I don't need a fire source to beat this dungeon, so that's good. So 
it's like over one. I don't know. Skip it. I don't care anymore. I mean, obviously, I should probably be doing slug buffering or pause buffering or something to get the line up correctly. But I think I'm just, for now on, just gonna skip it unless I can do the boots one. Nice to be able to leave here with a crystal. Just gotta not die. Easy. I mean, I do have potions. But... something in the basement. So now we have three one-offs. We have one in Skull, one in Eastern. This one we're probably never gonna come back for for a while. I just hope it's nothing. I could go to Spike Cave. Yeah, here's the problem, because now it's like, do I do Spike Cave or do I do Spiral Cave? Two minutes, two crystals, we still need a butt ton of stuff. And then the other thing I'm thinking about is like, do I walk all the way back up and see if I can open up T Rock? Because what if there's something in the first chest? You never know. Does Zora have a fire rod? No, because it's right there. Now I'm suddenly thinking about that hair basement. Gosh dang it. Well, now I gotta walk my Garfield butt all the way back up in the hopes that, uh... Well, do I even want to do T-Rock, though, without Ice Rod? <laughs> How'd Pot Skip go? It went great, I didn't do it. I failed it twice, and that was down to half a heart, so I just... Bailed and went upstairs. I couldn't get the second line up. Alright. Even if this is Quake. Who knows? I could just find Ice Rod in Hookshot Cave or something. Or it, it is Quake! Alright, well, this is. This is a spooky scenario. I'm gonna go check the other stuff first, and then make a decision, I guess. I mean, the thing is, it's not like we have many other better choices right now. We got a bunch of one-offs, so we can go to Pod, but... Eh. The T-Rock play could be a good one. The answer could also just be Mirror Shed or Mire, or Mire Shed or Mire. Just give me the ice rod right now. Yeah, but even if I do that, there's still the possibility of, you know, Mimic Cave having something important. I'm probably gonna get destroyed by Hera Basement now. 
Okay, do I do it? Do I go into T-Rex? Look at all this junk, man. Am I really going into T-Rock? Uh, I, I could go beat up Eastern. Duke Pod. This is a tough... Yeah, this is a really tough spot to be in right now. Let's just... I've already... Like, I already have to double dip Desert. Now I have to double, like, I have, I don't have to, but I've forced myself to have to double dip Eastern. Yo, what's up, Simpleson? Ah, ah, snowballs! It's raining here. Well, it was. That's all you got, game? Uh, my day's going all right. Been up for a few hours. Nothing too exciting. Nice menu. Uh, I don't have... No, I do have hookshot. Sorry to hear your day's not going well. That sucks. Could just ca take the cape. I can go to you know. I can go to Skull Woods, get the second item there, see what's at Bumper Ledge. I mean, that'd be going towards a crystal, which should be generally better than what I'm doing right now. Like this is like an all-out gamble. I mean, it could be some stupid situation where I have to like get a required item off of Laser Bridge that leads to Ice Rod. It's possible, or Ice Rod's just sitting somewhere out in the open like it's no big deal. I guess I'll go for it. This is a practice for a reason. I don't know how that chain chomp didn't hit me. Oh no, that's no good. I'm sorry. Put some ice on that. This is a bad play. This is not going to pay off. But what if it does? It's not. That's two items already. There's only three left. What are the odds that one of those three items is going to be something, you know, useful? There's... What would be something I'd want to find in here? Right now. What would give me the most advantage right now? Mir would open up spots, but that'd be about it. Well, other than Ice Rod. That's the obvious choice. <laughs> Obviously. I want Ice Rod. I'm talking about other stuff. I mean, we could find flippers in here, which opens up a pendant dungeon. See, this is why I wish I hadn't gone all the way back up. I should have just been like, nope, I'm not going into T-Rock anyway, so... I should just go into the Dark World portal on the ground and just come back later. If Mirror's in here, that'd be great, because then I could just Mirror out and check Mimic Cave. But then all Mirror does is open up overworld checks until I find flippers. I don't 
know what these Andy Cave, Andy Drop. I, I have no idea what these are. <laughs> I don't generally subscribe to the concept of naming locations after people. Ice Rod is locked behind Mirror, then this was the play. Holy cow. Dude, I swear to god, if Ice Rod's in here, I'm gonna chortle. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, this is Garfield. Oh, please lead to something immediately. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fucking wait. Oh my god. <laughs> what a great seed. Oh, if only this was attorney seed, man, I'd be so happy. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Well. You don't see that every day. I love this game. This game is great. <laughs> Alright, well, <laughs> we're gonna get a crystal dungeon out of the way, so that's good. Where am I going? question. So I just need flippers and boots. That's it. That's all I need to finish this seed. Who knows? Maybe try next will bail me out. Well, he already bailed me out with that mirror. Unbelievable. I hope someone else is playing the seed. I don't think anyone is, though. I posted the seed in my Discord for people to play. No, I just gen this this morning. Good too. Thanks, bud. <laughs> What's up, killer app? Oh boy. I don't even know where to go now, dude. I don't even know. I'm just so blown away by that. By that actually happening that I'm like, what? Let's check my area, I think. Mm, what do I want to do now? I was not expecting that to happen. And mirror is a weird item to find at this point. So it doesn't really do too much for me. 
Please be Bombos or Ether. Thank you. Good. Now I won't be tempted to go in there. Good, 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 good. Give me a lamp. Perfect. Awesome. Absolutely amazing. We're going to. We have direction. We're going to swamp. We just need boots now. That's it. That is all we need. So, now to throw everything away by last locationing the boots. It's gonna happen. Yeah, I need boots for desert. Yo, what's up, Andy? Andy, you missed it. I had the greatest situation ever. Literally the funniest shit. I went into T-Rock, <laughs> found the mirror on Laser Bridge, and mirrored out and found the Ice Rod Mimic Cave. Yeah, I'm down for a mystery after this, 100%. All right, because I'm one item away from go mode, I'm gonna check a few things before I commit to the swamp play, just in case I can go mode it. T-Rock go mode? Gross. Or wait. All right, <laughs> easy game, dude. Fucking lol, dude. <laughs> Alright, sweet. So I could have had boots before going up Death Mountain, right? Where did I find that shovel? Yeah, I could have had boots a while ago, but... Here at Bombos on Trinex and Crystal. Blech, blech, blech. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I get to skip Meyer, Ice, and Pod. That is so great. And my skips in Eastern, and, or not skips, skipping here basement did bite my butt. I was not. I was not. <laughs> I like how I went from, like, I have no idea where to go next to just... Alright, Meyer Shed. Okay, Flippers. Alright, I'll go to Swamp. Alright, before I do that, let me just check these things. And then just... Here, have some stuff. Yeah, where... I had Shovel... Where did I get Shovel? Was Shovel on... Shovel wasn't on Death Mountain, was it? I don't think it was. <laughs> Wrong. I don't think I need to hold onto the wall if I don't have a shield. I'm glad you like the Garfield sprite. My buddy Foiler put a lot of love into it. For me. This seed was absolutely weird. This was such a strange seed altogether. And it started out really bad because of last location in the gloves for Dark World over in Desert. If I had just gone to Sahasrala and didn't go into Eastern, I would have saved a good chunk of time there. But yeah, going up, I mean, going up to the T-Rock portal on the way up to Death, to, to do Dark Death Mountain with only one medallion is, first of all, a gutsy play, and then still committing to it even afterwards. Because here's the thing, I would have gotten flippers, I would have gotten boots, um, I 
would have finished Desert. I might have been inclined to do all the Zora stuff after finding Clippers, so... The seed could have gone in so many different directions. The question is, where's that lamp? I need to learn the quick set for this fight. Eastern Skull. Hmm. Desert Eastern Skull. I also can't imagine anyone. I mean, I could see people maybe forgetting to go back and check Mimic Cave after getting Mirror off the Laser Bridge, but. I don't know. I don't, I don't know about that. Yo, what's up, Spleeby? Spleeby! The seed was great! You missed the best part. Mirror on Laser Bridge. Ice Rod and Mimic Cave. It actually happened. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to, but it actually happened. Yeah, I went back, I went, because I said I was going to do it if I found Mirror on Laser Bridge, so I did it immediately, and it paid off. <laughs> but yeah, it was a weird situation, because, you know, without Mirror going up Death Mountain and also having Dark Death Mountain to do, you kind of have to route, like, Terrible. Yeah, as long as GT doesn't dump on me. I already have the big key for Eastern as well, so that'll be quick. Yeah, 25 minutes sounds good. But yeah, like, I did the usual, you know, East Death Mountain over to Hera, backtrack, spiral cave, but then it's like, okay, do I just go into the portal and then do Dark Death Mountain and skip T Rock, or do I go all the way up and open up the portal on T Rock? in hopes I have the one correct medallion. <laughs> and I did. And I went in afterwards. Real dumb. But it worked. cool if after the game was over, the seed had some sort of emo tracker style map to signify which locations you did and didn't do. Because it'd be fun. Because, like, you know, being able to post that picture, especially if you're, like, racing other people. Because I'm not going to run a map tracker for this game. Hell no. Did I... Turn around for a brief second. That was weird. Was I still in? Did I? Did I like instantly do hook speed like to pick up the pot? What was that? That was weird. I mean, maybe. Band map trackers. Another seed where I get to skip lamp entirely. It's great. Get out of 
out of here. <laughs> Probably should have used that fire rod. I... Is there still an auto tracker for map? Those, those paper trackers were hilarious. I used them for every one of my matches, but they were really silly. So many scribbles. For like fetch quests, I would like circle the item that I got it and then cross it out after I did it, writing down the the pyramid fairy crystals and stuff like that. It'd be nice if it was like you know photocopy paper that you can just wipe off with an eraser afterwards. That would have been smart. This was a nice seed. I liked this seed, and it's because I played it. <laughs> I. I got super lucky and made the right choices, otherwise the seed would have sucked a whole ass. Where can I find the source code for the randomizer item distribution? I'm curious how the logic is done? Uh, if you go into the general... Oh yeah, it's on GitHub. Oh, these guys know. Don't listen to me, I don't know shit. Most of the time, if you have a question, I might not know it, but you could always ask in the Discord, but chat's got you, got you back. I need to learn the rod dash for this room, because it looks sick. Yo, jump in the shower. Oh, did the... Okay. I wasn't paying attention. remember having the projectors in school and having like the see-through colored blocks that you had to place on the projector? Remember that? <laughs> oh yeah, I remember overhead projectors. <laughs> That's cool, dude. Dead rock to get in my way. Smart boards? Interesting. 80s grab paper to map out Z1. That's awesome. How do you get this fan bag contraption to work? Oh, I remember TVs on tall carts. We saw that in the classroom. You knew you were gonna have an easy day. I remember in high school, my biology teacher, who was the cheerleading coach, was a really bad teacher. And her idea of teaching was just plain movies or you know all sorts of TV shows or not TV shows, but like you know documentaries and stuff like that in class, and just giving us assignments to fill out in the mo like during that. There's always a TV card in there. 
When's my race? My next race uh, for the main tournament is going to be tomorrow at 5 or 8 Eastern. Uh, tonight I have a multi-world race at 9.30 Eastern for the AGDQ multi-world tourney. So. Sanko? Alright, chat. Where do you think it's going to be? I'm going to do my stupid route like I always do. I'm going to change this song to the egg theme. Because I like that theme. Even though it's pretty straightforward, not like super, you know, melodic or interesting. It's creepy and I like it. No, I had a towel room. Did I have a towel room yesterday? No, I didn't have it. The race I commentated had a towel room. Dodge that bone. <laughs> I like this route. It's nice and comfy. See? And if the answer ends up being in compass room, I would I would I win. I win. Cause someone's gonna be like, I'm gonna go do do the hope room and not get a small key, and then they gotta go full left and get hacked by random room. It'll work this time. See, watch. Small key. See, watch. Small key. Alright, big key. Alright, big key. See? Winner, winner. Well. If I have... I think if I have, like four keys in Stalfos room, I'll go straight for double firebar room. Yeah, I don't go straight to Ice Armos. That's that's a terrible idea. Because if it's random room, which it most often is, then I'm just ruined forever. Yeah, it's the stupid route. That's what I call it. That's what I've been calling it. up pot. Acquire key. I mean, you lose time. I, I don't know. I feel like this route is like the safest. Because that way, if it's compass room, you're feeling good. If it's random room, eh. I mean, worst case scenario is it's that ice armos, but. And if it's tile room, then everybody loses, so. Type in whilst in the shower. I'm impressed. It's pretty impressive. Dude, I remember that match because I feel like I had to retime it. Dude, he's naked. That's gross. I remember when I was naked. Earlier today. Get the most. I 
threw everything off. Unbelievable. Just do a couple loops. Yeah, what a whiz. Like, oh man, I don't have a I don't have a lamp, so I'm a little concerned about torches, but I have a blue potion, so. Insanity shuffle pet goal. <laughs> I had a baby one yesterday with SNT. <coughs> who apparently saved a bunch of time by forgetting that lower crystal GT was the thing. But it didn't matter. Because he skipped. Ice Rod on Pendant Cold Stare. Haha. -ha. Now I am Willard Do J. Bradley. And if I beat Wall Kicks, I'll be Whale Lord Do G J. Bradley. I'll be I'll be gaming. Hey, but Charles, thanks for the 19 months. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> if you guys match up, 100%. Get an insanity when it's only like a five percent chance. That was that's not fair. That only counted as a one. I'm sad. My one twenty, it's going away. I was really nervous. Because, you know, I signed up to do commentary for Emo's race last night. I was like, all right, cool. I only have two hours before this <laughs> before this race. So let's just hope my mystery seat isn't something ridiculously stupid. And literally, it was 4-7 or 5-7 Ganon. Enemy damage was cha uh, chaos damage. I think that was it. Like, that was it. It was super basic. So... I still took two hours to beat it, but I made it just in time. No! No! I always do that. Ganon, zero warps, come on. None. Zero. Zero. That's one. That's two. That's three. My 120. No. I could have got a 120 if he gave me zero orbs. triple, but it didn't come out. So close to greatness. Ah, oh, bummer. That is probably one of my best times in a long time. 
Chels. <laughs> Thanks, Chels. It happens to lots of guys. You guys are so funny. All right, cool. So... Great! Cool, I'll let credits roll, and I'll hop in here, and I guess I'm gonna wait for... Big Dummy to do his thing. So I'm gonna let credits play, I'm gonna go grab some more coffee. I'm gonna get set up. So where was Lamp? Lamp was... Dark World... Lamp was on the pyramid. Wow. All right. <laughs> Where's the last sword? Last sword was in... Hobo was the last sword. Oh. So if I had... Because I had considered fig flippering up to just Hobo. Since I didn't have the means to do water walking and all that stuff, I would have had a sword then, but... Neat. Good seed. That was fun. That was a good seed. Only because I did it right. If I hadn't done it right, it would have been an ass seed. 